God. Come here, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, you're special, girl. You're doing a good job. Hello. It's pretty windy outside. I just had to take the wind chimes down. They were going bananas. Welcome back. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Warren, this is Cassandra, and we are Married Recollection. Today we'll be watching Game of Thrones Season 2, Episode 4, Garden of Bones. Cassandra was running around in the snow so much yesterday, her ankles were almost bleeding. You know when the snow gets a nice hard layer, like a little sheet of ice on top of it. Alright, I need to pay attention to this. I watched a really good movie last night, and I need to suggest it. It's called The Long Goodbye. I believe it's called The Long Goodbye. Really good movie. It's about a private investigator who circumstances start to turn on him. Oh yeah, The Long Goodbye. Yep, 1973. Directed by Robert Altman. Elliot Gould. That was really the only Elliot Gold movie I've ever seen other than the Ocean's Eleven <laughs> trilogy. There's something out there. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you're right, little prick. Ah, did you just see your face? I swear you pissed yourself. Sounds like a good fart joke. Renick, do you think I'm an idiot? Renick! <laughs> oh. I guess the wolves lead the charge. Gutted. The Lannisters hold prisoners of their own. I won't give them an excuse to abuse my sisters. No, don't! Don't! Please! <laughs> The rot set in. No, don't! No, don't! We'll get better. It doesn't even hurt. The rot will spread. If we don't take the foot now... No, you can't! Please, sir. I can't die just... Die or she doesn't. I don't want to be a cripple, please. She don't want to watch. No! You can't! Bite on it. It's better than biting your own tongue, believe me. Oh! God! Ooh, he likes her. She gets right into it. You never told me where you're from. Valantis. Boy was lucky you were here. He was unlucky that you were. You're here to answer for your brother's latest treasons. Your Grace. Whatever my traitor brother has done, I had no part. You know that. Using some vile sorcery, your brother fell on Stafford Lannister with an army of wolves. After the slaughter, the Northmen feasted on the flesh of the slain. Killing you would send your brother a message. But my mother insists on keeping you alive. Stone, we'll have to send your brother a message some other way. Meryn. Leave her face. I like her pretty. Ooh. Mary, my lady's overdressed. I'm burdening her. <laughs> if you want Rob Stark to hear us, we're going to have to speak louder. What is the meaning of this? What kind of knight beats a helpless girl? The kind who serves his king imp. Careful now. We don't want to get blood all over your pretty white cloak. Someone get the girl something to cover herself with. Have you no regard for her honor? I'm punishing her. For what crimes? You should not fight her brother's battle, you half-wit. You can't talk to me like that. The king can do as he likes. The mad king did as he liked. Has your Uncle Jamie ever told you what happened to him? No one threatens his grace in the presence of the king's guard. I'm not threatening the king, sir. I am educating my nephew. Braun, the next time Sir Merwin speaks, kill him. That was a threat. See the difference? 
He's not a nice king, is he? Tell me the truth. Do you want an end to this engagement? I am loyal to King Joffrey, my one true love. Lady Star, you may survive us yet. You think dipping his wick will cure what ails him? There's no cure for being a cunt. But the boy's in that age. And he's got nothing to do all day but pick wings off flies. Couldn't hurt to get some of the poison out. What are you doing here, dog? Your uncle left your name day present and asked me to see that you've got it. Female? And? What is it? Look inside your grace. Ah. Your Grace! Happy name day, Your Grace. My name day is past. We will tell if you won't. Could you hit her? My uncle sent you. It's Your Grace. He chooses himself. Mm. <laughs> Use this. Harder. I said, harder. He'd want me to get his money's worth. Spoil a pleasure. You will bring her to his chambers when you're finished and show him what you've done. Well, the same thing will happen to you. Begin. I like you, Lord Baelish. I don't like your face. I don't like the words that come oozing out of your mouth. I don't want you in my tent one minute more than necessary. So tell me, why are you here? When you march on King's Landing, you may find yourself facing a protracted siege or open gates. Your Grace. Lord Baelish. It took me weeks to learn my way around the camp. Twice I walked in on officers and stages of undress. And the moment I learn which tent is mine, we're on the move again. Your tent, not our tent. The king snores, perhaps, or simply prefers solitude. And on the night of your wedding, who was by the king's side then? You seem quite interested in our marriage. Your marriage is quite interesting. The marriage of a wealthy girl always breeds interest, if nothing else. The whole notion of marriage seems to confuse you, so allow me to explain. My husband is my king, and my king is my husband. Was he as or should be? I saw someone the other day that could have been her doppelganger. It's you know of this place. Only that the desert around their walls is called the Garden of Bones. Every time the Carthians shut their gates on a traveler, the garden grows. She's making me thirsty just looking at her. Ooh, that looks icky. What kind of fire melts stone? Dragon fire. There's dragons here. No, all the dragons are dead. What's that smell? Dragon poop. Dead people. Oh. Ooh, are they stretching somebody? Oh. Oh, they're stretching people to death? He was my son. My sister was three days ago. My husband the day before that. They take someone every day. 
Oh, that's eerie. So it's not like firing squad. You have to suffer waiting and hearing all those people presumably being pulled to death. You're free. Cersei. And in pain. The Hound. She's gonna seek revenge on each and every one. You betrayed Ned. Betrayed? I wanted him to serve as protector of the realm. I begged him to seize the moment. I trusted you. My husband trusted you. And you repaid our faith with treachery. No, my lady. Get out! Cat, I've, I've loved you since I was a boy. It seems to me that fate has given us this chance to... You've lost your mind! Get out! Do you want to see your girls again? Sansa? More beautiful than ever? Ugh, he's gonna get dirty and Arya, now. Just as wild as ever. You have Arya too? Both girls are healthy and safe for now. But you know the Queen, and you know Joffrey. I fear for their longevity. But you must please me first. What do you want? The Lannisters will trade your daughters for the Kingslayer. Of course they will. Jamie Lannister for two girls. Rob will never agree to those terms. I'm not bringing these terms to him. I'm bringing them to you. You may not get another chance. I've brought you a gift. I don't want your gifts. A token of Tyrion Lannister's goodwill. He wants you to understand that this exchange of prisoners is offered in good faith. Good faith. What's this? Is it Ned? What's in the box? What's in the box? Your husband was an honorable man. He should rest beside his family in the crypts beneath Winterfell. Is him, isn't it? You may not believe it. Get out. <sighs> Does it smell? What is it? Of course, they're going to make us wait to find out. That's him. The one who picks. The mountain. Mm. What are you doing? He told me he stares at him every day. Reverse psychology. Picked. You. Oh, boy. Oh. Man, that's evil. Where's the Brotherhood? I don't know. Oh, is this like that, that one that James Bond had to go through where she like tightened the wheel up behind his neck? Yes. Oh, rats! I don't know, please. Where is the Brotherhood? I don't know. <laughs> they, what? They did this on Too Fast, Too Furious. Who? I never saw. Who? I never saw. Please, please stop. Please, don't do. Who? I did. Oh. God. Take it off. Take it off. Who helped him? Gaines, the butcher, and his son. That's better. You'd be very helpful. No, stop. Please. What are you doing? Please, stop. Please. Stop. Oh, they're just torturing everybody to death with different sources of torture. Ah! Ah! Cersei, in pain. This is where I was. I've been here. Whose banner is that? My own. I suppose if we use the same one, the battle would be terribly confusing. I like their their crowns with the antlers. Looks like something out of Crate and Barrel magazine. 
Like a candle goes in the middle of. <laughs> but not a godly man. You should kneel before your brother. He's the Lord's chosen. The Iron Throne is mine, by right. All those that deny that are my foes. The whole realm denies it from dawn to the wall. The king's hand looks like a 12-year-old boy in a man's body. Strike your banners. Come to me before dawn, and I will grant you your old seat in the council. I'll even name you my heir until a son is born to me. Otherwise, I shall destroy you. You see all those banners? You think a few bolts of cloth will make you king? No. The men holding those bolts of cloth will make me king. We shall see, Renly. Come the door. We shall see. Look to your sins, Lord Renly. The night is dark and full of terrors. My name is Daenerys... Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen. You know me, my lord? Only by reputation, Carlisi. And I'm no lord, merely a humble merchant. They call you the Mother of Dragons. And what should I call you? We are the Thirteen, charged with the governance and protection of Karth, the greatest city that ever was or will be. The Baldwin look alien. The beauty of Quarth is legendary. Karth. 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 Might we see the dragons? We have traveled very far. We have no food, no water. Once I see my people fed, I would be honored. Forgive me, mother of dragons. No man alive has seen a living dragon. Some of my more skeptical friends refuse to believe your children even exist. All we ask is the chance to see for ourselves. Where I come from, Guests are treated with respect, not insulted at the gates. Then perhaps you should return to where you come from. We wish you well. Hard bargain. You promised to receive me. We have received you. Here we are, and here you are. If you do not let us in, all of us will die. Which we shall deeply regret. But Karth did not become the greatest city that ever was or will be by letting Dothraki savages through its gates. I don't know who that guy is, but I like him. He's a good actor. Thirteen! When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me and destroy those who have wronged me. We will lay waste to armies and burn cities to the ground. Turn us away. And we will burn you first. Ah. You are a true Targaryen. Only, as you said a moment ago, if we don't let you into the city, you will all die. And so... Retreating in fear from a little girl is unbecoming of the greatest city that ever was or will be. Ah, I like this guy. The discussion is over, Zaro, Zara, and Doxos. <laughs> <laughs> the Thirteen have spoken. I am one of the Thirteen, and I am still speaking. He was in something, I think it's called Zoo. Then you would invite her in for a cup of wine? She is the mother of dragons. Do you expect her to watch her people starve without breathing fire? I believe we can allow a few Dothraki through our gates without dooming our city. After all, here I am, a savage from the Summer Isles. And Karth still stands. Our decision is final. I invoke Sumai. I will vouch for her, her people, and her dragons in accordance with the law. Be it on your head. Welcome to Karth, my lady. Oh, my. Goodness. Can we see the dragons? We really just want to see the dragons. Do you, do you really have the dragons? She shouldn't show them the dragons. Keep them hidden. Makes it more suspenseful. Oh, that's great. Are they going to have a whole row of heads up there? Is there gold or silver in the village? Not from the village. Where is the brotherhood? I don't know what that is. I 
that's the same rat. Saved by the Lord. Why are these prisoners not in their cells? Cells are overflowing, my lord. After we interrogate them, we usually just... Are we so well manned that we can afford to discard able young bodies and skilled laborers? They know they're going to die anyway. Why would they give any information up? What are you looking at? Neil! Neil, or I'll carve your lungs out, boy. You'll do no such thing. This one's a girl, you idiot. Dressed as a boy. Why? Safer to travel, my lord. Smart. More than I can say for this lot. Get these prisoners to work. Bring the girl. I need a new cupbearer, my lord. Your visits are too few, cousin. Her Grace the Queen Regent commands you to release Grand Meister Picel. Is your warrant? Who's the one that gave the wine to the king? Cersei must have great trust in you, allowing you into her chamber during the hour of the wolf. The Queen Regent has a great many responsibilities. She must be very glad to have you helping her from dusk till dawn. Did Cersei have you knighted before or after she took you into her bed? Nothing to say? No more warnings for me, sir? You will withdraw these filthy accusations. Have you ever given any thought to what King Joffrey will have to say when he finds out you've been bedding his mother? It, it's not my fault. She'd take you against your will. It's never our fault. Your own father, Lord Tywin, when I was named the King's squire, he told me to obey her in everything. Did he tell you to fuck her too? I did as I was bid. A high place in court, knighthood, my sister's legs spreading open for you at night. Oh, yes, it must have been terrible. Wait here. His grace will want to hear this. Mercy! Mercy, my lord, I beg Save it for Joffrey. He loves a good grovel. I'll leave the city at once, I swear. No, I think not. My father told you to obey my sister. Obey her. Stay close to her side. Keep her trust. Pleasure her whenever she requires. No one ever need know. As long as you keep faith with me. I want to know what Cersei is doing. Where she goes, who she sees, what they talk of, everything. You will tell me. Yes, my lord, I will. I swear it, as you command. He's on to something here. Oh, rise, rise. Let us drink to our understanding. I know, I'm gonna drink some wine now. Cup, oh well. Smile, cousin, my sister is a beautiful woman, and it's all for the good of the realm. <laughs> you tell her that I beg her forgiveness, that I want no more conflict between us, and that henceforth I shall do nothing without her consent. But her demands. Oh, I'll give her Pycelle. You will? Yes, I'll release him in the morning. Cersei can keep him as a pet if she wants, but I will not have him on the council. I could swear that I had not harmed a single hair on his head, but that would not, strictly speaking, be true. Oh. Because he cut his beard. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. Do your knuckle bones bring you luck? Well, the knife's been good since you hacked them off, Your Grace. And you were good with the cleaver. You were a hero and a smuggler. A good act does not wash out the bad, nor a bad the good. Now listen, I'll try to teach my son. Mm, does he listen? To me? God's more. But if your red woman told him to leap from the crow's nest... She has a name. Trust you've not forgotten your smuggler's tricks. But surely there are other ways, cleaner ways. Cleaner ways don't win wars. Are you afraid, Onion Knight? Someone once told me the night is dark and full of terrors. A man is good or he is evil. Which are you? Oh, good. I'm a knight myself of sorts. A champion of light and life. Well, that must be very nice for you. You want to see what's beneath this robe. And you will. Strange that this Lord of Light asks you to work in the shadows. Shadows cannot live in the dark, Sir Devils. They are servants of light. 
They bar the passage. <laughs> they can't bar our passage. Gods protect us. There's only one God, Sir Davos. And he only protects those who serve him. <laughs> I bet she'd be really good at nursery rhymes. <laughs> uh, other than the statistic stuff. Wow. I love how Tywin is just straight to the point, blunt, no BS, no shenanigans. I knew she was dark, but I didn't think she was that dark. It's almost like that thing is going to become king. I don't even know how to, I'm just trying to like compute what I just saw. <laughs> Things got pretty weird in that one. And Joffrey, he was really dark in that one too. No room for Cersei. It's too bad I was really looking forward to seeing the dragons. But holy smokes, that wherever they landed, that looks like a heck of an oasis. I wonder how long it's going to take before the dragons can actually fly around and destroy a city. I'm kind of curious about that. If they grow fast or if... Because I know that they're not ever going to stop growing, but at what rate do they grow? <laughs> that was some pretty good back and forth. That was a pretty good episode. I like that a lot. Highly enjoyable. It's one of those episodes that... Every time it moves on to the next scene, you're, you're almost worried that it's going to be over with, but it's not. You're like, yes. And then when it's over, you're like, whoa, so that's way too soon. Then you realize it's already been over 50 minutes and time just really flies. That one was exceptional. Curious what was in the box. Was it his head? Maybe it, ooh, maybe it was his skull. Maybe by then they already had the skull cleaned by maggots and beetles where they boiled it and scraped it, which I don't really think they would do that. No, actually, they had it on the stake, so maybe maybe after the birds cleaned it up. Didn't seem like it smelled when she opened the box. Or the chest, the treasure chest. I'm gonna go to the gym, okay, baby girl? I gotta cut your nails. I gotta cut your nails, my baby girl. Yeah, she doesn't like Joffrey. That's, that's her least favorite character. He scares her. Right? Come here, sweet. You want to say bye to everybody? What's going on here? Oh. Yeah, I got something on. Something. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Do you want to say bye? Come on. Come on. No, I'm done, sweetie. That's it. We're all done. We're all done.